I got five astrophotography life hacks that I'm willing to give to you. But in return, if you find one of these useful, I want you to subscribe to the channel. Deal? The first one is down here. Now, if you're into visual astronomy, you know, just looking through the telescope with the good old Mark I eyeball, then you're likely going to end up in a situation like this, where you have a lot of eyepieces. And sometimes it can be difficult to find the right one, especially if you have them laid out and you don't really know, oh, well, I need the 15 mil, which one's the 15 mil. If you're into visual astronomy, you know the struggle. So here's what I've done. I went down to my local bookstore and I found stickers. They have like stickers with small numbers on. And I just put numbered stickers on all the little cases for my eyepieces on the side, on the top, so I could see them from two angles. And that means now, when these are laid out in my little carrying case here, it is super convenient and super easy for me to find the exact eyepiece I need. And if you're out in the dark, you're like, oh, I need a 10 mil. You don't really know, oh, is this the 10 or the 12? Then you have to go out and take it out and try to read the text, which is often like impossible to do. So instead, put stickers on, top on side, super cheap. And now it's easy for you to find the exact eyepiece you need. This is a green laser pointer. These are great for, like if you're out with a group maybe, then you can, can take this and you can use that to like point out different objects in the night sky if you're doing like a, a tour or something like that. But you can also use it to pull or line your scope. If you have like a ledge or something similar, where you can maybe put it where it doesn't like wobble if there is like a, a hard ledge you can put it on um, so you know that it's it's perfectly aligned with the rest of the mount then you can put it there turn it on and it will point approximately where you, your your mount is pointing and you can then use to to do the first initial alignment towards polaris you're still gonna have to use the finder to do the final like proper alignment but you can kind of get started and get a pretty good a very quick first approximation of it um, but if you like with this mount here, where there isn't really, it's all round, there's no place to put this and I can't put it on the scope because the scope doesn't necessarily have to be aligned. But, but you get my point. Here's what you do. You can take this and you just hold it up to your finder scope. What will happen then, and be careful because now when you turn it on, laser's gonna come out of your, of your finder scope. And now you can just hold that up. You can use the, the little knobs to do the final, like or the first alignment. And once that laser is pointing approximately at Polaris, you remove it and then you do the um, pole alignment as you normally would with your finder scope. This is just a very quick way to get your whole setup, uh, get that initial alignment um, up and running. Now, when you're out in the dark taking pictures, we always carry like a lot of little, you know, things like adapters and just all kinds of things down here. Stuff like this, if you eat that, it's going to be difficult to find again because now you have a black thing in the middle of the night. How are you going to find it? Well, let me show you. I went down to my local bookstore and I found reflective tape. So what you see here, this white color here, is actually just reflective tape that I put on it. And that means if this is lying around in the field or in the grass somewhere, you just shine a light across the area you're in and you find all these things and you put it on. So basically put this on all the things that I move around and I could take out of my boxes, put it on the little like caps for your telescope and all those things that doesn't really get used, but that you take off when you put somewhere and then you always end up throwing them away because you can't find them in the dark. Reflective tape. Now it gets even better because if you look at this, this bundle of wire is, <laughs> is the cable that I use to power my scope. What you will see is that I've also put this reflective tape at intervals along the cable. So I have reflective tape here, so then there's like half a meter, two feet maybe, I don't know, between each, each marker. And that means when I have a cable and it legs strung out uh, across the ground, if it doesn't have it right underneath my telescope, it could also be like a long USB cable or whatever cable you have that you may have across the ground. In order to be able to see that more easily, reflective tape, just wrap it around it. And then when you have your head torch, it, uh, it shows up very, very brightly. I have something else here, I'm just gonna show you, let me find it. Because my original idea was actually to use this. These are what's called spoke reflectors. These are just small like plastic tubes with like a slit in them. And then the whole outside is covered in reflective material. 
My idea was to just put that around the cable, but it didn't really fit because they are actually used for bikes um, to make the wheel like light up. Um, so you can get these in most like bike shops. It didn't fit my cable, but you can try it out. Maybe it's gonna fit your cable. It's gonna make the whole setup process a little bit more easy. This was the original idea I had. It didn't really work out for me, but I wanted to mention it anyway, because it might work out for you. Now for the next trick here, you're gonna need a clear plastic back and a rubber band. This was actually a trick that Jacob told me. He is uh, probably one of the best astrophotographers in the world. And I did an interview with him a while back. I actually have a video on it on my uh, YouTube channel. You can go and, uh, and watch that if you're interested. And what he told me, what he taught me was, when he do his flats, what he do is to take clear plastic, put it in front of his scope, and then just like rubber band, and then just you pull it tight, like so. And then hopefully it doesn't blow around in the wind as much as it do here. There you go. There you go. Cheap simple easy to make diffuser and now you get much better flats that was his experience i haven't actually tried this myself but this is definitely something that's going to be a permanent part of my uh, <laughs> of my uh, of my carrying kit for my telescope now because this just f functions as a diffuser it doesn't matter that there's wrinkle in it because this is going to be so out of focus that it's just going to help diffuse the light even better so you can take better flats. And again, it's super easy to put on as you can see when you're done. Just pull it off and you're ready to go again. So I think that's a very neat trick and that is something that I'm personally going to be using going forward. The final tip is pretty straightforward actually. Um, this is just Velcro from like a hardware store, nothing fancy here. You would basically just get Velcro, stick on Velcro you wrap it around the optical tube, wrap it around the legs of your telescope, and then you take the other side of the Velcro and you put it on things that you might want to just stick onto the telescope that you want to take on and off easily. I wouldn't recommend that it being things you want to take, like get your hands on doing actual observations, because when you pull that Velcro, that is gonna shake the telescope a lot. But for instance, let's say you have a, have a time remote where you just want to stick that on the side so you can set it, um, and then have maybe a 10 second delay, you put it on the side, let the telescope settle, and then it just sits there on the side, doesn't hang or cables dangling or anything like that. Um, or you could do the same thing if you want to have easy cable management, also just like uh, Velcro strips around the legs just for cable managing things, super easy, just make everything more neat if you have a more permanent setup that you doesn't carry around as much, or if you just want a very fast setup to so just take your things and just plug them on the telescope where you need them. Now, if you have any secret tips or tricks that you found when you're out in the dark taking pictures, share them below in the comment section and then maybe I'll do a follow-up with more tips and tricks from you guys. And finally, if you want more astronomy and astrophotography videos, then the subscribe button is either there or there or somewhere. YouTube moves them around all the time. Go find the subscribe button and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks a lot. And then if you see in here, you can see these rings yeah, that like are a, Like a baffle or something? Yeah, contrast baffles. And they also make a huge difference. Allow me to give you a very quick tour of this thing. So this is a Meet LXD 75. I got this second hand.